Well, it's the time of year when we start thinking about what's next in our lives, what we want to change, and how to really make it happen. If you've ever wondered if it's possible to manifest those dreams by what you think and feel while well, you're on the right track. Joining us now with expert insight on how to approach your new year with magnetic optimism is life coach and author Michelle Charles Gustafson. Welcome back. Good morning. I am Thank so excited you. to be talking to you. I am all about manifesting what you want in life. Many of us have heard yes. about the concept, right? We've heard about this concept and how to really bring things into your life. What does this really mean and how can we use it to better our lives? You know, the law of attraction is not new, Sonia, and it's even trendy with all the books and the thought leaders, and it's a subject that's been shared over and over again. But to manifest very simply is to bring what you desire mm. into form into your life and to take what was once a thought, a desire, a dream, and make it reality. And the benefit of this really attractive practice is that you get to claim personal responsibility for your life mm. and how you live, what you're learning, yeah. and what you're creating. And that's the thing that makes life very fulfilling. And really taking ownership, right? So yes. Michelle, take us through the steps to start developing this way of living. Like where do we start to get, bring all these beautiful things into our lives? Yeah, you know what? Each of the steps about manifesting anything really has to do with finding clarity and then living with intentions. And that starts with knowing what you want. <laughs> mm. I always say uh, to my clients, clarity creates freedom. This means that knowing exactly what you want to feel as an outcome for every part of your life is where it starts. Even beyond what you want to do or get done, the feeling is the most important, that positive feeling of the outcome. And once you do that, you're able to set an intention toward it. The more clear, the more concise, and the more specific you are, the better it gets. Instead of, I just want a new job, how about I want a fulfilling work that allows me to use my creativity? Wow. That's more specific. Wow. Mm. So for people who say, you know, I'm just, I just, I just take it as it comes. Like, no, that's not the approach. Like know what you want. You have to know what you're asking for, which is step number two, ask for what you want. So not asking in terms of what other people can give you permission to want or what your roles say you want. What do you want from the inside? And that solidifies the intention. And this asking part is done in very personal ways because each of us, it's different. So yeah. you, first of all, I say for everyone, get it down on paper, write down yes. the intention. And then yes. the asking part becomes personal. Prayer, personal mission statement, meditation, visualization, journaling, affirmations, or even my unique way, I teach people how to get dressed so that it manifests. Yes, it's possible. All of these yes. things, get it so clear in your mind's eye about why you're getting up every day, the reason your heart leads you every day, and that's the thing that makes it come to you. Then there's one last step after that. And you say this is a game changer. This last step is the game changer. By the way, I'm all for affirmations. I have an affirmation book that I've created for myself that I speak over myself every morning. This is why, like I said to you, I was like, this is my jam right here. But tell me about this game changer step because I feel like I think I'm missing this one. Well, okay. Actually, there's two game changer steps. The first one next is to summon the courage to act because without action, none of this starts to happen. This is the right. third step. Whenever you're changing your priorities in your life, you cannot just sit there and wait for them to show up. It does not happen. Um, your clarity and your intention then will let you take action. You'll see opportunities along the way that arise and help you use your new courage and your new compassion for yourself and your new discipline. This always takes healing and it takes a lot of humility to mm. learn what you're learning in life. Once you get those things down, you can see your future self living with that intention, and then you need the last step, which I'll share. It's so it's amazing that they all kind of tie in because once you get through this third step, that's where you kind of almost go back to clarity brings freedom. Like, you're, like you said, the healing part, you're now free to receive what you've actually put out into the world. But let's get to this fourth step. Oh my gosh, I'm like loving every second of this. Okay, but uh, tell us about this whole, this ex the, the part that accelerates the whole process. Yes, this fourth step is the supercharge at Rocket Booster, let's go, okay? It keeps the momentum. It is about going with gratitude. Gratitude is the last step. 
Mm. And it is about giving thanks, not just at Thanksgiving, but for things big and small that are here and that are not here yet. It's a wow. matter of seeing what is in front of you and then with positive expectation, knowing the others are coming. And the, the best way to do this, you've heard this, and it, I mean, it almost seems trite now, but it works. A gratitude journal, 10 minutes, five minutes before you go to bed, write down three things that you're grateful for. Um, if you wanna supercharge it, I share with my clients, we do a gratitude journal in the morning, we do a gratitude journal in the evening, and then we do journals in the middle of the day. Anything where you can activate your this energy um, to receive. Yeah. The other thing that you can do is to release self-doubt around yourself. We all have it, and improve your confidence around your life. Those two things with gratitude will make you un. Stoppable. Michelle, just incredible insight there. I love, I love this whole manifesting your dreams. And of course, I love that you put the action part in there because it's, there, it's still hard work involved, but really getting your mind to line up with all your hard work as well. Michelle, thank you so much for that. That was amazing. You're very welcome and happy new year. You too. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.